We are halfway to our first stop of the day at Raglan Castle, but first, a pit stop. This is Mono Bridge, the last medieval bridge with a fortified gate in all of Britain. Mono Bridge was built in the late 1200s. Uh, it was finished by 1300. It had a full gate to get through. By 1705, they converted the, they took the gates off and converted the towers to a house and traffic could pass underneath it. The bridge was used up until 2004 as a crossing bridge for vehicles and then it was made strictly pedestrian so that they could preserve it better. I think it's fascinating that this bridge has been here since 1300 and they drove across it until 2004. Now that we're done with the bridge, we're going to, surprise, surprise, another castle. There's just so many, and they're so cool. Welcome to Raglan Castle.
Raglan Castle was the biggest castle ever built by a Welshman. It was started in the 12th century. By the time the majority of the big castle was built in the 14th century, or in the, sorry, in the 1400s, most of the big warring was kind of done here. So it was more so very impressive, still defensible, but there wasn't really a problem at the time. It went from kind of fortress to big country estate in the 1600s. It was very lavish, very, very nice place to live in. Unfortunately, like with most castles in the uh, Civil War in the 1600s, they chose the wrong side. And when the castle was taken, a lot of it was destroyed, I think like the outer gates and that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure Billy could tell you far more about that part. <laughs> This place is massive and you can tell very much that it was built kind of at a time of peace because it is so much about grandeur and look at my power and look at how much room I have and like the, the spiral staircase for examples are very big which is very luxurious if you've been in any of the small castles because they're so tight. It's just, it's huge. This is the long gallery. Uh, back in the day, when they didn't want to go outside to exercise, they had these. They were very long, and you could walk up and down them to get some exercise. They'd also take the opportunity, the owners of the property would take the opportunity to put out their best works of art for you to admire as you were walking and getting your exercise. So this very, very long, long thing is for exercise. It would have been on the very top floor. If you see the windows all the way up top here, that would have been your view out. So you'd have walked from that side all the way to the end and all the way back, all while admiring the art of the landowner and looking out those beautiful windows. This is a fountain base. The last of the Somersets to live here was an inventor and he pretty much made like a steam engine type thing to pull water from the moat to come out of this fountain and it was said that it blasted as high as the towers which is incredibly high when uh, the castle and all of the lands were seized by Cromwell in the Civil War he was destitute essentially lost everything um, and he wrote a book later in his life of all of the inventions that he claimed to have made there's no telling what really worked and what didn't and what he actually invented and what he didn't but he did do this so Kudos to that. That is part of the side mantle of a fireplace that would have been in the lawn gallery. You can tell just from that the opulence of that room and how much they were showing off 
their wealth and the luxury of this place. It's a stunning piece and it's incredible that it's actually still there. Usually all of those have fallen by now. There's tons of fireplaces around in this particular castle that are still intact and they're phenomenal to see. I would 100% live here. This is why. That's your view. This is the moat walk. It was put in, and I believe in the 17th century, in all of these little alcoves all the way around. There were statues of Roman emperors, and there was hand-painted plaster with seashell decorations behind them. This would have been where everybody would come for gentle exercise on a sunny day, rather than staying in the long gallery. I'm exercising gently. Don't overexert yourself. That's too much. I gotta take a rest. I gotta take a break. It's actually really nice today, and the sun is out, so we're using the. Mm. We're doing our light exercise outside. And the fresh air and the sunshine. This is the warmest day it's been yet. I think the high today is almost 65. It's very nice. Bliss. There's tons of baby ducks in the moat. They're so cute. We have just gone down and walked the old terrace garden where those were, that was really pretty. And now Billy can finally go in the piece he's most excited about, the original tower. He's been waiting the whole time. I told him to save it for last because it's the best part. We 
1646, this part of the castle was sieged, and eventually they surrendered. The people that took it decided they didn't want to leave it standing for other people. They tried taking it down by hand, and it just was too much work, and so they wound up digging a hole on this side and just letting this whole wall collapse into the moat. I want to roll a perception check to investigate to see if the chest is trapped. It's a one. No, no traps. You're good. Cool. When you come in the castle, when you first, first, first get here, take an immediate left. It puts you in the area of where the library was and the floor above. And then make another left. It brings you into this room where there's the earliest photos of the castle. They had already done a lot of restoration work by the time some of these photos were taken, but they're fascinating to see what it used to be like in the uh, mid-1800s when people were first starting to really come here and want to take care of the place. We are sadly leaving Raglan Castle now. We have explored every inch of this place. I think it is probably my favorite castle that we've visited so far. It's just such a mix of eras. It, it's a stunning place. The fact that there's so much of it still intact. If you ever get a chance, if you're near Raglan Castle, please go check it out. It's amazing. Also, I think we've hit perfect timing. The clouds have rolled in. It's starting to sprinkle. So we're gonna run to the car. We'll see you guys at the next one.